The Warriors' new death lineup has been too much for the Nuggets through the first two games. Series now shifts to Denver, where the team split two meetings this season. Joining us now from Mile High City is Kendra Andrews. Kendra, welcome to the show. Much has been made of the new death lineup featuring three guards, Curry Clay, Jordan Poole. What are the Warriors saying about the emergence of Poole? Well, Jordan has given the Warriors the ultimate luxury. He's doing his best Steph Curry impression, giving Steph himself more time to ramp up coming off of that foot injury. But what Jordan has done through the first two games of this playoff series isn't anything new. He's been doing it all season. The Warriors have been so impressed with his growth that his omission from that most improved players finalist list has left them confused and disappointed. Clay Thompson a couple days ago said, if he doesn't win that award, it makes no sense. Just yesterday, Steve Kerr said that, yeah, the three finalists definitely definitely deserve to be in this category and conversation, but so does Jordan. Yeah, last year, heading into the season, Steph was the only plus shooter at his position on the team, and now all of a sudden, Clay's back and Jordan Poole is bombing. Meantime, Draymond Green missed significant time in the regular season, but now healthy. How big a factor has his defense been the first two games of this series? Well, Max, just yesterday, Nuggets head coach Michael Malone said, quote, Draymond literally isn't guarding anyone. He is a free safety out there. Now, what he meant by that is Draymond has been sagging off of certain Nuggets, leaving him free to help and, and assist any of his teammates out on defense. Now, Malone said the, war the, excuse me, the Nuggets have to help out their MVP, Nikola Jokic, by cutting better, setting better screens, freeing him up from being smothered, particularly by Draymond. When Draymond is the final defender on Jokic, he's shooting just 6 of 25 from the field, and over all through the first two games, Jokic is shooting just 32% when the primary defender is green. So he has been a game changer. Micah Malone told me earlier that a reason why he felt the Nuggets went 3-1 and one in the regular season is because Draymond did not play in any of those four games. Thank you, Kendra. Back here with David Jacoby. Jacoby, a lot of this entire basketball era has been about Golden State shooting. You heard Kendra talk yep. about Jordan Poole and what he's meant. But that's not all they do well. She also mentioned someone else on the Warriors. <laughs> Draymond <laughs> Green. Draymond Green needs his flowers. There's so much focus on Poole and Curry and Thompson. But do you remember when Draymond was out for that month, month and a half? Steph Curry wasn't shooting. They weren't stopping anybody. What he has done to the MVP, the presumptive MVP of this year, has been wild. His defense is stifling. He's a, he is like a free safety out there, as Kendra mentioned, and he's also the leader, the communicator. He's been so impressive on defense, but also on offense. There is not someone else who can affect the game on both ends of the floor like he can without scoring. He went to the line in game two, and he didn't have any points. But he was still, like, one of the best players on the floor. Draymond Green is what makes this team this team. He was, like, you know, I think we've focused, or there's been enough talk about the fact that the shoot outside shooting went away. Because when he was hitting threes, it was just impossible, oh, yeah. right? But he's kind of the point guard. He's the all-everything defensive guy. who. And when I think about this entire era of modern or postmodern basketball, number one guy responsible for it is Steph. Number two guy is Draymond Green. Mm. He's the pick and roll partner. He's the guy who allowed you to play five out. He's the do everything guy on offense and defense. Uh, he's a Hall of Famer for sure, and he looks like he's still in his prime when he's out there. When you watch the highlights of Jordan Poole or Steph Curry, just look who's passing the ball to them. Right. Sometimes he points. He's like, you go there, and then boom, it's a three-pointer. He is so important to this team, and, and his, and I said this before on this program, like his absence was felt even more than his presence when he wasn't there. If not for LeBron James's incredible greatest all-time comeback in Game 7 in 2016, mm -hmm. Draymond Green was like a second away from Do the Do you remember that MVP? Game 7? In that Game 7, he went like 4 for 4 from 3 in the first <laughs> half. Real.